Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Make sure guys you stay until the end because if you make one simple mistake, you can end up paying five to ten thousand dollars for a new engine guys. If you have a BMW 5 series, I'm talking about F10, F11 BMW with a four cylinder engine guys. This is known as N20 or N26 four cylinder gasoline engine guys. And you're trying to get the crankshaft pulley bolt loose. We'll explain what needs to be done from start to finish. Very specific procedure that you need to follow, otherwise you may end up needing new engine. Now many of you ask me how do you get that crankshaft pulley board and we'll explain what we use here at the shop, but always consult your manual guys. So that same engine, okay, it's been used in multiple BMWs, as I said, it's N20, N26 engine. Uh, another thing guys, every single car we get at the shop, including this one here, we make at least two to 300 videos. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return guys, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully you will find information helpful guys, that way we can keep making free videos for you. If you guys need to buy any of the tools or parts that we use, links will be in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let us show you guys what I'm talking about now. Crankshaft pulley bolt, okay, it's down there. Check it out, this is the crankshaft pulley bolt, okay, all the way down there. Let me focus, perfect, this is the bolt, this is the extension bar that we have. Breaker bar with 22 millimeter socket, and this is a long pipe that you need. You cannot just go ahead and take that bolt loose, simply, why? First, you won't be able to. Second, guys, if you get that thing loose without getting the timing correct and everything, okay, you will end up needing a new engine or your cylinder head at least rebuilt because you will bend the valves. This is the timing chain sprocket on the crankshaft, guys. And there is no key, as you can see, so there is no key holding that. BMW uses that so they can achieve the perfect timing. Many vehicles now started using that Mazda Ford as well, guys. And only thing holding the timing sprocket to make sure that it doesn't slip, okay, and mess up the timing on your car is that bolt there. That bolt needs to be extremely tight, guys, extremely tight. Uh, I think they even recommend a new bolt every time you uh, remove it. We'll have the torque specs and all that on the channel. But before you remove it, guys, you have to have your engine at TDC. This is top dead center point. Okay, video is on the channel how to do that, guys. We have it from start to finish, but we'll explain a little bit as we go now. Once you have it at TDC, you need to install the camshaft alignment tool here. This is for the timing, guys. Uh, one tool that holds the clutches. You have to remove your uh, tensioner for the timing chain, and you install your manual tensioner so you can pull, uh, you can adjust the tension on the, on the timing chain, guys. And you have one more special tool that you need to use. I know, it's terrible. But that's how BMW likes to do it and we follow their rules because otherwise engines are expensive, guys. And you don't want to mess them up, correct? So, I'm going underneath the car now. Oh, okay, right there. Almost got it, guys. Perfect. Now, checking it here, this is your timing pin. People now do things in two different ways. I'm going to uh, explain about that a little bit. Uh, here, this is a special tool. You have to remove that cover. Once you guys remove that cover, okay, uh, what you can what you can actually do here now, guys, you can go ahead and install that tool. Okay, this is uh, the uh, flywheel holder tool. Adjust it, install it. When the engine is a TDC point, some people, okay. Uh, remove now the bolt, but what I usually do, some people will rem start removing the bolt with the TDC pin in, some with the TDC pin out. If you leave it in, guys, and that tool develops a little bit of play, all that tension will, okay, will transfer to the TDC pin and you can break your engine block or you can, uh, you can actually bend your flywheel. You don't want that to happen. So what I do, I pull it out and make sure it's a TDC point. I hold that tool really, really good, guys. And we have a person on top that is going to start taking, okay, uh, start taking the bolt off. Make sure that the teeth are all the way in the flywheel. You can see that through here. But another thing now, guys, make sure the car is secured on jack stands. Everything is good because when somebody starts taking that bolt off, it will be really tight. It will, they will be shaking the whole car. You don't want that car to have fall on you. Also, make sure they don't dro drop any tools and use eye protection because uh, if something breaks, okay, it can get in your eyes, gloves as well, guys, and make sure you don't pinch your fingers. Hold that thing really good up, make sure it doesn't move, and at that point, with the pin out, we get the bolt loose on top, the crankshaft bolt with the big pipe, and later I verify that it's a TDC point, and I push my pin back in, okay, so it doesn't move, guys, okay. 
and then we come on top okay and we are ready to go this is the pipe that we use guys humongous pipe right but you will need it because i think it's super tight so that's how you guys do it hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time